Hey YouTube, Mr. Hub929 here. Uh, I've got a quick video for you today on my, uh, in addition to my AR-15. Of course, I have the Delton AR-15 with the heavy barrel. Um, one of the things I've wanted is a single point sling. Uh, I've, I've just never cared for the dual point slings that, you know, like most rifles have. And the one that came with my rifle was no exception. I just, I just didn't like it. I've never been a fan of it. And of course, if you watch any other videos, you know the guys that do the tactical training and teach you will tell you that a a sling for a rifle is the same as a holster for a pistol. If you're doing some kind of a transition where you're working with your hands, you need the rifle on you but out of the way. So the shoulder sling, you know, being able to, you know, the shoulder on your on your shoulder, the the rifle on your shoulder or out of the way, so you can still do what you're doing and still get to your rifle is a huge advantage. And as it was, I was carrying my rifle everywhere it's because I didn't like the shoulder sling. So the option was to get a one-point sling, which fits over your body, basically just like this. And you've got a clip right here, and I'll show you. It's a really simple buckle, as you can see spring-loaded, heavy steel, and there is usually an adapter plate that bolts onto your rifle. And they've got all kinds, but most of them require you to remove the castle nut on the AR-15. And of course, the castle nut, you know, it can be a pain if it's been staked in place. And I really didn't want all that problem to put an adapter on. The adapter that I found, the beautiful thing about it is it slips on. Um, try and give you a close-up. It's got a split collar right here so you can open it up. It slides over your castle nut when you tighten it down. It grips the castle nut. So the only thing that's necessary for installing this single point holder onto this rifle is just removing your buttstock. And on the AR, it's a really simple affair. You pull the lever, slide off, and your buttstock stop comes off the gun. Then all that was left to do, spread the tabs a little bit, slide the adapter over, and where the seam is on it, just line that up with the seam, the mold seam on your pistol grip. It's got a screw that goes in the side. You tighten that screw up, and this thing is a firm, tight fit over your castle nut. Now, I've heard some people complain on the commercial stocks, which the mil spec stock, or the mil spec mil spec buffer tube, I think it's just a little bit thicker than the commercial one. And I think these adapters are made for the mil spec. And I've heard some people complain of it slipping around and getting loose on the cast nut of commercial buffer tubes. So what I did, I used heavy grade or the high strength Loctite. When I put this thing on, I smeared some Loctite around the inside edges where it makes contact with the castle nut. Put it together, tighten my screw down, and let it sit for a day before I bothered to do anything. With that, get a good, nice, firm seal. So basically, along with the tension of your screw, it's also glued, so to speak, to the castle nut to really retain itself and hold. Um, of course, I, you know, I just reassembled the rifle, put everything back in my gun case, and just let it sit. So now I'll put my stock back on. It's really easy. Okay, so now the rifle's back together. I've heard some people complain that they can't use the very first notch on their collapsible you know, buttstock. And what I've found is on this one, mine, you can see this handle's a little loose. It's not fully engaging the retaining pin into the hole in the buffer tube for this position. As you see there, you know, all your slop is gone. So I think the only thing I really need to do is remove my butt plate and just sand it ever so lightly, just so it comes far enough forward to engage that hole deeper. But the other side of that is I really don't use you know my buttstock in the closest position because it's just too close. So it's not really a loss anyway. I usually go at least you know one or two clicks back before I you know am comfortable shooting. So it's not really all that big of a deal. Um, but all you do, take your clip, 
the hole, and then your gun, when you're not using it, hangs right in front of you. And you know, that's fully, fully extended. It's still out of the way enough that you know you can do things. You can work with your hands. You can do whatever. You can talk. You know, especially if you talk with your hands like I do. And the rifle is still where you can get your hands on it and get into position very quickly using the one-piece sling. You know, you can if you're standing around talking and you know whatever it is you're doing, you know, you got your gun right here in front of you. You know, I've seen a little, I've seen a lot of people for some reason, you know, use their rifle with a single point sling to lean on while they're standing around. And uh now I know why. It's it's actually quite comfortable. And it has your gun right here in front of you, it's pointed down, so as long as you make sure of your feet and the gun's pointed in a safe direction and literally quickly it comes right up to bear. You can drop it just as easily and just as comfortably. So w would I want to run with this like this? No. If I had to, I could, but you could also transition, you know, if I had a holster on me, which I don't. Okay, I'll just do a little waistband tuck here, okay? And for whatever reason, I'm going to transition from my rifle to a pistol. I can put to my side. If I'm wearing a leg drop holster or like this, I can transition right to my pistol. Okay? And then say, let's say this, you know, I do have a, a holster on one side. I can transition very quickly from rifle to pistol. Okay? Um, same from the opposite side. And when you sling the rifle back, it clears the location of your pistol. So you can transition from your pistol, holster, to your rifle. Okay, you can transfer back very quickly. That's some of the advantages of the single point sling that gives you a little bit more problem with a two, two point sling. So wherever you're keeping your pistol at, you have a a holster on your belt, you know, even then, if it's behind you, if it's beside you, wherever that is at, you can go easily from one weapon to the other. You know, I didn't think to have a holster on me to show how easy the transition would be from your holster, you know, holstering the, the pistol to going for the gun or from going from the rifle to the pistol. But as you can see, it's really not, you know, difficult at all. You know, holster the pistol, draw the rifle, rifle back to your side, draw the pistol. And that's just one of the many advantages of the single point sling and why I wanted one. And it just makes sense to have a good sling with your rifle so that your rifle doesn't always have to be in your arms. So, and the other reason why I went with this style was because I didn't want the headache of removing my castle nut to put the sling adapter on. So I was able to take the quickest, easiest way out and attach the sling adapter to the rifle without having to disassemble my rifle or take a chance on my cast nut later coming loose from not being staked properly. Uh, I don't have to use any Loctite on the cast nut itself. And as you can see, you know, it's, it's fairly, it's a seamless design. It looks good on the rifle. It's not, you know, out of the way. It's just a good fit. So I'm, I'm quite pleased with it. That's, so that's the latest addition to my rifle for ease of use is the single point sling to help keep the AR-15 in reach. So there you go folks, the AR-15 with the single point sling adapter. If you enjoyed the video, great. Uh, subscribe if you liked it. There will be more videos to come. Thank you very much.